Okay, now that we got the mustache done, I'm going to take that gouge like I said. Sorry about that, I cut the last video a little bit shorter than I wanted to. Uh, my wife walked in when I was taping. <laughs> There's some of that extra footage you guys wanted on Patreon. <laughs> Behind the scenes, almost. And she walked in to give me a coffee and opened the door and then realized, <laughs> uh-oh, he's taping. Okay, we got the mustache cleared. I have a gouge now, and it's a little bit bigger. Okay, I don't know if you can see that sweep. There you go. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this wood off. It's a lot easier to do it with a gouge. Right. And I'm just going to go around like so. And it'll leave uh, some really neat contrast. I could even make a beard if I uh, go all the way around just with this gouge. You see what it's starting to do here? So, that's all I'm doing. You can do it any way you want. You don't have to do an exact copy of what I'm doing. But I'm taking that gouge and I'm taking the bark off with it. Alright. Making it kind of interesting looking for whatever stick you have. Try and make it look like the beard would look itself. Or this skin is something else. I really have to put him down. You guys see that okay? I was trying to do it with such a thick piece and try to hold it in my hand. Having it all wiggly, it's a little tough. Most I always keep my fingers away from where the tool's going though. Okay. And you see how he looks like he's got a beard already almost. So I'm going to come up here to the hairline. I'm going to clear some of this off by sweeping across like that. And take some of that off so I can put some hair up there. Just clean some of that off. That's what I'm doing there. Trying to get down through that skin and get to the carvable wood. Which is what I'm going for here. Okay. Same way we cut that hairline in. I'm going to take that off so I get to the clean wood. Basically, you got to clean this stuff up and get to the good wood before you really do much else. Makes it a lot easier to carve. I don't want to be carving different layers that aren't really wood. Or the good stuff anyway. Okay. I might do just a little more since the size of the stick calls for a little bit longer beard as far as I'm concerned. And on the sides over here, I'm going to scoop some out going up so I can throw some hair in there. I like that. Okay. Same on this side. I'm going up against the bark. Working my way up. See these little gouge marks? They're starting to look pretty neat all the way around. So those little circles there is how I'm going to use the beard since this is so heavy and so tough, this wood. I'm going to try and use that kind of design for my gouge to make a beard on this guy instead of too many detour lines, which would be really tough to put in. Now if I put them on a vise, put them in a vise, and got my mallet out, it wouldn't be so tough. But this cherry is going to probably give me a hassle just trying to put V2 lines in. I could be here all day probably. Now if you're using basswood, you could definitely do that easy. There we go. A little bit up here. And all I did was go around everything. And try to get it clean all the way around. No matter how I have to hold my hand, that's what I'm doing. My arm's in your way. Okay, clean this up a little here. Now his beard, right up between the eyebrows here, I'm going to take some wood to get down there. By pushing it up. We'll cut a new stop cut in there later. But I'm trying to get in between those eyebrows. 
to separate them a little bit. So I'm going to come down with it. Just like that. And then push it up and to separate those eyebrows. So what I did was I came down and then flipped this over and pushed up. There you go. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come down. Sorry, my elbow's in the way. I had to look. I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to take my gouge, invert it, and push up. So it goes up and underneath that eyebrow. Okay, so if it's not really good for you to see, that's what I'm doing now again. Just a little more to separate. And I got that crack there, which is really going to show now. But I can't do anything about that. Okay, now the rest I can clean up. And he's starting to get a little bit of a profile there. I'll clean it up here. The same gouge. I'm just smoothing that forehead over. of his nose. Okay, I can take my detail knife and clean that up. If it's a little chunky on his nose, I want to smooth that out. The eyebrow here. And I'm going to put another stop cut across so I can push that forehead up and underneath that hair that we're going to put there. Well, I tell you, it's a lot of work if you're going to carve a piece of cherry with hand tools, especially one this thick. This is about two and a half inches thick. And it is rock hard. Okay. I'm going to clean up around the mustache a little more while I have my knife in my hand. Shame about that crack. That gives him character. Okay, so now we're starting to see that wood spirit face come out. Now it's time for getting uh, some hair in them. And we'll start that in the next video. We'll finish detailing this guy. And be done.